Hey guys, it's producer Ronan here. It's like 4 a.m., but the episode goes up today, so there's just a few things I want to touch on before the episode actually starts. Um, you know, we actually lost some footage for this episode, so that might sound like a big deal, but I can assure you it's really not that big of a deal. It really just explains some of the weird angles and audio that we decided to go with. Uh, it's because it was the only options we had, so uh, it's only for the challenge and tribal council, so we didn't lose any story, confessionals, or interviews, or anything like that, so that's still all there. Just want to give, you know, an explanation, so... If you're at this point, episode three, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support uh, for the show. And uh, I hope you really enjoy the show from here on out. So thank you guys. And I hope you enjoy episode three of Survivor San Diego. Thank you. Previously on Survivor San Diego. After the vote, Dylan faked having the idol. Within like an hour, something happened. He told me he didn't have it. I don't know what's up with the kid. Dylan got three votes on him. Three votes on him. He's scattering. In the toughest challenge yet without both captains, Leilani totally fell apart. Okay, this, this, this is, is not working. Team. This right now is not working. They're so wrong, bro. Not 100% sure on the last one, though. No. Meanwhile, Talladega showed they were a force to be reckoned with. Check. Talladega has a check. Talladega has a check. Talladega has a check. Dylan performed poorly in the challenge. Dude, stop saying King is great. That's already used. But it wasn't enough to keep Paige off the chopping block. If I was in your standpoint, I'd be freaked the fuck out like, too. Brandon convinced Paige was safe enough. Me trying to gain your trust. I've told you the truth. That was a lie, by the way. Very sure they know or have a very strong suspicion that I have the immunity idol. With Rebecca using her survivor knowledge. Rebecca thought of an ingenious idea. Um, that whole concept of splitting the vote. If Paige doesn't use her idol, she's out. If she does use her idol, then we'll do a revote and we'll do five to Bella. All right, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. And she didn't use her idol, making the Paige idol saga finally come to an end. Third person vote out, Survivor San Diego, one district. Paige. Paige, what type of vote 13 survivors remain. Who will be voted out next? Like I said, you guys are on the losing streak right now. I really don't want to see you guys again next week because something has to change. You guys have the power this week. So I hope you guys made the right choice. We'll get started on the Muni Challenge when Talladega gets here. Take 10. Thanks guys. There's only four of us! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I <laughs> 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 Bro, you know, I'm not sure if Paige had it, but I'm like, she seemed pretty truthful. And Dylan was the first person to check it out afterwards. Yeah. He went there. I think Dylan's smart enough to play that move, too. I am to like work with I think he got a little flying. I'm mad I didn't say anything earlier. Because I think I Paige thought about would be it, a better but... member of it. No. Dylan. Y'all could tell me because I don't even care. I know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't even know he wasn't going to be here. If I knew he wasn't going to be here, I would have voted for him for sure. Probably. But that wouldn't have changed much. Like, fuck. Like, I can't keep doing this tribal council shit. I can't keep voting someone out. It's, it's a giant mood killer when I have to see someone leave. Also, I feel like... I feel like people are thinking that I'm like the villain of this season. It's really fucking with me because everyone keeps saying that uh, all the girls are going getting voted out, which is true. Literally three girls have been voted out. It's interesting though that it has just been girls voted off, um, but it's kind of funny to comment on it because like a couple guys came up to me and they were like, you know, like, it's not it's not because they're girls like you know we, we don't hate women <laughs> i'm like i know you don't hate women but it's funny to say something but also there is definitely like a boys club thing happening which i think it's like you know natural you know like the bros they were voted out for reasons other than their gender obviously and it's really fucking with me because people are like making it seem like that's not the case we thought that Paige had the idol, you know? We all, it was sus. Like she literally posted the immunity hint hours before the tribal council. They expect to get, they fly through the week and then hours before the tribal council, that's when they want to start playing game. Like, I don't think that's how it should go. They only told me at the last second who they wanted to vote for, that they wanted to vote for Dylan. But I think they assumed that I would be on board with them. 
I don't know what they thought. I see tears shed and I'm just like, fuck, like, is this because of me? Like, is this, is this like my doing? Like, am I making people cry right now? Like, all right, third week of Survivor is complete. Um, and it is our second tribal council for Leilani. Paige did go home the other day, which all went to plan. Um, you know, she didn't really say anything all week. Uh, we were hoping she did so that maybe we could bait out the idol, but it just never happened. Obviously I wasn't there for last tribal council, um, but even though I wasn't there, I was in Colorado. It felt pretty cool to know that I was basically running the whole thing from another state. Everything went exactly as I had planned. Um, I'm sorry that Paige had to go. I really did like her um, as a person, but you know, this is a game and she is the person who I wanted out next. Um, you know, Bella was on the list for people that we were thinking about going home because we wanted to use Bella as a way to bait out the idol. But like I said, super reluctant. I'm sorry to see her go, but can't really do much for you if you're not gonna speak. Sorry, Paige. I found out that Paige and Bella voted for me, but that's fine. Um, I'm voting out Rebecca because I definitely know she's a backstabbing white asshole. Um, I wasn't surprised and I still feel like I have safety at least for a few more rounds. I'm driving to challenge number four. I was told that we could dress casual. I don't trust him. I don't trust Ronan when he says that. So I still dressed prepared to kind of like, you know, do a little bit of running or something. I am also curious to see who's been booted off of Team uh, Team Blue. I forgot their name. Leilani or something like that. Who cares? They're going to lose anyways. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time that... I'm really like talking about my real feelings about this game. It's hard, man. I I didn't want to play all of this game so early, but I feel like I've already played like half of the game of Survivor, like half of the season already, just in these last like two weeks. I don't know, hopefully, hopefully people understand. Hopefully people enjoy my content. They like what I'm doing. They like the game I'm playing. Hopefully I'm not playing like a dirty, bad game. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? So right now we're not at a disadvantage being two people down, even though we voted off a couple people too. You know, right now we got like four quality players and we're gonna win this. It's a handicap. Yeah, right. We're definitely gonna win. Players. I believe in you guys. Yeah. So there's a little twist today, and the next week for this challenge, everybody's playing for their individual community because next week both tribes are going to travel council. You guys are competing against your own team. Let's Don't go. have to worry about the other team. Ooh. So it's Leilani against Leilani, Talladega against Talladega. Only one of you guys is coming out with a victory. Safety next week. Both teams, we're going to get to 11 people next week. Each of you guys are going to get a roll of tape and book. And pretty much what you guys are going to do is you're going to be making two sticks long enough to reach the cup without going past the cone. Take them over, and then you have to build a three by two by one pyramid.
The cup can be upside down, whatever you want to do, but it has to be three, two, one. Okay? There's another little part of the challenge. Over there, you can see a straight cup, right? It's a cup of water. We got a bunch of ping pong balls. At any time, any of you guys, if you want, you can stop the challenge. Go over there, make the cup. If you make the cup, you get to eliminate anybody in the entire game. So, so two people are winning immunity for their try, right? No, they win one two. on your team, one on their team. Yeah. You guys are yeah. playing against each other, yeah. not that. So, so when, if they, someone on their team wins, they're done, so you guys still beat them. I make this one cup, get to eliminate one person. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Fuck immunity, don't need immunity. I'm already immune. Does anyone, uh, does anyone want to be not playing? Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Fuck, dude. This is tough. Can I pick myself? Nope. Um, can I wait? Pick it right now. Um, shit. Um, how about Brandon? Alright, Brandon, I'm sorry. I'm so pissed because this, this is my idea. Same thing, but yeah. opposite. Yeah, and then I saw you, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, so it's around like that. <laughs> <laughs> you made it, and then you're like, wait. <laughs> I know, I was like, oh, I was like, 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 you're like, can I get myself? What? Me, bro. I didn't even get to play last competition either. I heard him say that. I'm like, oh, did you really? How's it feel to be the weakest thing? The thing is, the longer he doesn't play, the weaker. <laughs> We're like draining his life force. Yeah. Tuesday, we 
started with 16 people. Next Thursday night, we're going to 11 people. Each side is going to tell the council, Trey, Dylan, you're safe, everybody else. That's all I got for you guys. We're going to go fucking get lit now. How about Woo! Get loud? Cup. <laughs> you lost though. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, to be honest, I just wanted to make the cup. Um, I wanted the clout of making the cup. Um, you know, I didn't get to play in two challenges in a row now, and I feel really shitty. Honestly, I feel like everyone's kind of gunning for me, or everyone's seeing me as a target right now, and it's uh. It's struggling, to say the least. I don't know really what to do. Bless Tommy, yo. Took out Brandon. I felt really bad for him. Um, they needed to be done, though. Brandon is ace. He's the trump card on the Team Leilani. Um, he needs to get out, definitely. But he didn't get to play in the last one, too. So that's two challenges he's had to sit out. And he's the team captain. I don't think he'll get voted out, but... I also don't think it looks good that he hasn't played for two games. You know, I was talking to Tommy and we were saying stuff about working together. Yeah, I, mean, I eliminated Brandon, but I feel like he's, I feel like he'll, he'll be safe. Dude, honestly, I don't know why I picked Brandon. I just couldn't think of anyone else. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little pissed I got eliminated, but the plan is already kind of in motion. We already know what we're going to do. Um, you know, Bella's freaking out, but I don't think she really needs to, is what we're thinking right now. There's people that are becoming a problem very fast. I think some of us in the tribe are realizing that Paige didn't have the idol, so that's where we're going with right now. I ended up winning the competition in my team, and Dre won the competition in the Team Leilani which means we will both be safe next week during our tribal councils. After the game, we went to Francois' house. Uh, we, I got to talk with a lot of different people. I believe I'll talk, I had probably around five different conversations. At the moment, our team is split into two alliances. One alliance is Christophe, Rachel, and Hannah, and the other alliance is Tommy, Sam, and Reed. As soon as we got to the house, Christoph pulls, pulls me aside and he tells me that they want to vote off Sam during the next tribal council. Um, to me, at any point, you tell me, uh, we're gonna, but we're definitely looking at voting off Sam because you saved for the next challenge and he tried to vote you off the first time. Yeah, and next trial, depending on how the game goes next Thursday. We'll figure it out as we go, but this is a week by week thing. We'll vote against Sam. That's it. I couldn't decide who I want to vote because. I feel like they're both big threats, and uh, I honestly don't want either of them to leave, even though they're threats, but that is kind of the nature of the game. All right, guys, so I just talked to Dylan, and this game's getting spicy. Let's go. It's getting fun. All right, so basically, uh, we're looking to vote off Sam, so big things are happening because of that. As I was talking to Kristoff, apparently Sam saw me. He pulls me aside. He asks me about what, what I talked with Kristoff. I saw you come out with Kristoff. Yeah. Were you guys, were you guys uh, uh, talking? We were talking about like, how the challenge went and then who we were thinking about for the end of the tribal council. Can you tell me who that is? Or no? And I told him that we talked about potential people that we want to vote off. And as soon as I say that, he goes, Who are those potential people? I really hate lying. It's it's horrible, but because he is the one that Christoph, Rachel, and Hannah want to vote off, I couldn't really say you are the target, so I told him Hannah and Reed. Which, which is not, it's completely not true. I just didn't want to make him feel bad. Okay, let me run this past you. This is sneaky beefy. This is some conniving shit. I don't know if you want to be a part of it. But I'm going to run it past you. Because we can go a different route. Okay? Mm -hmm. Before the tribes merge, this is our one shot 
to get Kristoff out of the game. I think he's one of the strongest competitors, and I already have the votes, and you would be a decider in that if you wanted to go that route. He tells me that him, Tommy, and Reed, they want to vote off Kristoff, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because three votes against three votes. So Kristoff and his alliance, they want to vote for Sam. Sam and his alliance want to vote for Kristoff which leaves me in the middle because I'm immune next week. So because of that, I will be the swing vote next week. So Sam has gone and talked to Dylan, right? And tried to tell them that they're gonna vote, try to vote me off, right? But Sam doesn't know that Dylan knows that Sam wanted to vote Dylan off on the first competition. And I'm the one who saved Dylan by getting Sam to think that uh, voting off Alex was more important for the team going forward. And Chris off told me to we're voting for Alex, right? And it was kind of the general consensus that we all changed to Alex. So I have already got an ace in my hole there. I've got Dylan on my side, I've got Rachel with me, and we have Hannah. So we already have a majority in the group. We won't get this voting power ever again. So you are a deciding factor here. I don't think they're going to vote out Hannah. I, I think Rachel and her were talking too much. But I don't know, maybe. We are allegedly voting Sam off. So I guess we're starting to, also Sam, when you're watching this, I'm very sorry. You're cool. I feel bad about it. Um, if it was up to me, we'd wait before we voted you off. <laughs> That's fucked. Um, we could go hand out, just be mean, or we could take out a really strong competitor while we can. The game is kind of shifting dynamic at the moment. The game is shifting from more of a team game to an individual game. So I feel like the stronger you are, the bigger threat you are. At the beginning of the game, during the first tribal council, I know that Kristoff saved me from getting voted off and he convinced Sam and Tommy to vote off for Alex. So I feel like I owe him a little bit. Uh, and now that he's in danger, I want to help him out like he helped me out. That's the reason why I will most likely be casting my vote to Sam. But that's where we're at, so let us know. I will try to decide. Basically, he's put in a no-win situation because we already have the majority of the team going forward. And it's just a simple thing of picking people off from here on out. Sam screwed up right off the bat voting Alex off. I like the fact that things are getting more crazy, but it also sucks the fact that you end up having to vote off people that you like or people that you that are good friends but that is just the nature of the game so that's not all that happened yesterday there's it got a little bit more crazy Christoph. Yeah. As captain, you get to decide which member on the other team is going to get the hidden immunity clue. Paige. All right. So Paige, I will get that clue to you. Like I said, it's up to you if you want to tell your team. Um, but that is your guys' clue. You guys in a future challenge will get a clue as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hannah, Hannah or Dylan T. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Dylan T earned it. Dylan T. Of course, he gives it to me. Why did you pick me? Um. I mean, I didn't know that you didn't want it. I, I think it was a good tool. Um, it's, but it's not that I don't want it. It's that, like, I want the challenge because I'm already safe. Why I mean, I, I picked you. I was like, dude, he did a good job. He can get the immunity hint. Like, you killed it in this challenge, you know? I don't know. I just thought, like, you earned it. Um, I think you're good. Like, if there's an easy way and a hard way to go about it, you know? What was I supposed to do? Like, who do you think, like, I should have picked? Like, you know? Like, I don't dude, know. there's, like, seven random people, like... I had like a minute to respond. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. It literally came down to the last second. I'm like, who the fuck do I pick? Uh -huh. like, I don't know. Like, you have some choices to make. You need to like sit down and decide what you're gonna do. There's like a couple of right ways and a couple of wrong ways to go about it for sure. There's, I'm telling you, there's choices you gotta make right now. Like, the nice thing is you have all night to decide. What I will most likely do is to, I will keep the immunity idol for myself after I find it. In the future, if I feel like I'm in any sort of danger, I might use it on myself. Or if I feel like anybody that I uh, like in the team that I don't want them to leave, 
I could use the idol on them in the future, but it will we will probably see what's gonna happen in the future depending on the games that we play next week and the week after. Luckily, things did go to plan this week. Uh, Paige did go home, which is really nice. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping that I would have got some more information on the idol, but you know, nonetheless, like I said, we've been playing this out for a week or two and I, I was happy with the way it showed up or uh, ended up happening. Um, on another note, I, it kind of sucks. I, I heard about the challenge, but it kind of sucks that I wasn't able to participate in the individual immunity challenge. Then there was, after that, an immunity challenge, except it was for individual immunity. So I was a little bummed that I wasn't able to participate in that. That means I'm going to tribal council anyways. Both teams are. Um, someone's going home. It's not Dre, who I might have wanted next, but now we're planning on blindsiding Dylan. Dylan's cool, but I do believe that he does have the idol. Uh, I believe Dre and Dylan were the ones who walked out with immunity for next week, which, you know, it, it's, it's great. But, uh, you know, concerning for me nonetheless, because I wasn't here for last challenge and that's a little scary. I don't know if I have a target on my shoulders or not. But yeah, I think, um, I think next week, as far as the uh, Trouble Council will go, we'll stick to, um, we'll stick to our original plan and just go with Bella. Bella being here is kind of a blessing because all we have to say is, oh yeah, 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 we're gonna get Bella out. And now he's in, now he's not even thinking. Bella's the one going right, guys. He thinks it's Bella. So, we're in the clear. Low key though, Bella might help us win more confident So, I think it might be smart to keep Bella around for just a little bit. Um, and then I think, I think we get the sneaky villain out. And I'm pretty excited to do like my first blind side. Um, I think that'll just be a fun thing to do. Yeah, no hard feelings to Dylan, but again, part of the game. But yeah, it was a, that was a fun challenge. I'm glad Dylan won, good for him. Um, we're still thinking about the uh, alliance with me, Dylan, Kristoff, and Hannah. I'm at work today, and I'm actually gonna meet up with Sam after work so we can discuss our alliance that we're gonna form. Well, it's already formed, but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, a little bit in detail, what our plan for the next step is, uh, for these next challenges, how we're gonna eliminate Kristoff. Surprise, bitches, it's a twist. And there's Tess. Can I squish? Squish. <laughs> Surprise twist, bitches. Um, but maybe this is gonna be a surprise twist that bites me in the ass someday. Who fucking knows? We just got off the FaceTime with Hannah. She answered and we have formed a new alliance called the Splash Zone. The Splash Zone. Um, it is everyone that's in the danger zone, excluding Tommy. Even though he is in the group, he's, the he's not really in the danger zone. So he's just the most low key person. Reed and Sam just FaceTimed me and they were like, hey, do you want to form an alliance and possibly vote Kristoff off? And I was like, Yes, I do. Sorry, Kristoff, much love, no offense, but like you are our team captain. And it's hard because I was thinking about this, like there's a couple on our team and they're gonna be loyal to each other, you know, which is beautiful and which is good, but it's gonna disrupt the power thing that's happening. So technically right now, I am, I'm a bisexual and I'm in two alliances. Like, come on now. Yeah, it's gonna really, throw people for a loop, I guess, if it happens. We are all gonna be voting for Kristoff, so that's four against three. Well, yeah. And as far as we know, Hannah will not backstab us. Yeah. Um, she's gonna tell them that she's voting for Sam, and they won't really talk to us, so it doesn't really matter what we say, but if they ask, I'm just gonna say Hannah, because, you know, fuck it. She was on board with voting Kristoff out, especially after I told her that Dylan mentioned that Kristoff kind of threw her name out as an option to get voted off. It's completely not true. It's a pretty bad lie. Uh, so she's pretty on board. Uh, I'm gonna keep asking Dylan 
uh, to vote Kristoff so that he thinks we don't have Hannah. I will be the swing vote next week. So that he doesn't use that immunity item on Kristoff. Playing mind games with our own team. Cause it's not really our team at this point. Yeah. Cause he, cause if he knows he's got four votes for Kristoff or he, there's even a chance, he might, uh, they might work something out and Dylan might use that immunity item on Kristoff. So Hannah's gonna be telling him that um, she's voting for me still and kind of keep that going so they think they have four vote, four out of the seven votes. Why is she FaceTiming us again? Uh, one second. One second. All right, we just got off another FaceTime because Hannah needed some reassurance, but she's mm -hmm. totally reassured. I don't think she's gonna betray us in any way. Yeah. Um, I mean, Hannah just needs to not let it slip because if they use that immunity idol on Kristoff, all their votes will vote towards me and I'll get voted on. I think you'll be okay though. We're good on Tommy, right? Tommy's... Yeah, we still need to tell Tommy, unless Tommy's been doing some serious stuff. Yeah. Thing, but I, I think we're We're, we're good okay. on Tommy? I, I, I'm, I'll talk to him. Of course, we'll talk to him, I'm sure. But I'll, you I'll should talk to, ta him. talk to him. Say, keep, yo, keep it low. Yeah. But we got we got the fourth vote for Chris. So I'll hit up Tommy. I think Tommy honestly just knows that nothing's going to happen to him. And he's just waiting. To Tommy's skating by, bro. And he took one for the team by shooting that shooting the ping pong balls. I think he was placing a lot of faith in our alliance in doing that. He's like, I'm safe anyway. Yeah, I literally well just... said, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not doing the challenge. So, so okay. I think he's... Okay. Plus, we've yeah. only been in alliance with them. We haven't even been in alliance with them for one ceremony, tribal ceremony, or tribal vote. I know, we've been winning all the challenges, and so, yeah, you know. Kristoff so if he was... betrays us the first one, we're in alliance. That's that's a dick move, right? But who the fuck would he even vote anyways? True. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Wait, first of all. We don't know if this is even allowed or whatever the fuck, but this is our game now, yes. so it doesn't matter, Ronan. Just announcing that right now. Mm -hmm. If Reed and I make it to the final four-ish, five-ish. Dude, final two, fuck it. Make final it two? Way, okay, if we make it to the final two, whichever one of us wins, we're going, we're going out to a nice dinner with our ladies. Doing a double, double date. date. Double spending, date with our ladies. Spending some serious bank. And then we'll split up what it is. <laughs> Actually, no. Nice Whoever, plan. yeah. We'll just do a straight up, like, expensive thing. Yeah, we fucking do $3,000 for a double date. Let's go. Oh, it's me again. I am publicly hungover. I'm at this part. Letting my aura blend with this tree's aura, absorbing it into my auric field. Anyway, no more details on that. Basically, it's coming down to me being a shady queen or not being a shady queen. Um, I don't want to be a shady queen, but it is like a good like strategic move. My only thing is like I don't want to end up fucking Rachel over. Like obviously, yeah, Christoph, I don't want to fuck you over when you watch this. Sorry, bro, if I choose to do it. But like I just don't want it to be in a position where Rachel is getting voted off because that's my girl. All right, Tommy, what's good, bro? We're it's here good, to talk bro. about um, the alliance that we have formed and that you're a part of, but we haven't talked to you about it yet, so yeah. we're going to talk What's about the move? it right now. So, the alliance that we formed is called Splashstone, because Splash everyone that's in the danger zone, which what we found out was me, Sam, and Hannah. For everybody preying on my downfall, this is CBD. So, Kristoff and Rachel and Hannah, who was part of them, were all going to vote Sam. But then Sam and I reached out to Hannah and got her on our side. So, Whoa, really? Yeah. So if we all vote Kristen, we get Kristoff. But that means you have to vote Kristen. Okay. What if Dylan no gives Kristoff the idol then? Because they're in an alliance. Wait, does anything have it? Well, he has the clue. True. But so he might we, have it. But that'll only happen if they suspect that Hannah is going to vote Kristoff. Because right now they think Hannah's voting for Sam. That's true. That's so true. We, we, we're keeping okay. we're keeping Hannah like, as a secret agent. Are you down to vote, Kristoff? Yes, definitely. Okay. Dope, dope. Definitely. Yeah, and then with that we'll hold hella majority of power because after we get out Kristoff, um, then we can vote out. Like, yeah, Rachel. I mean, Whoever if we have a majority, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Well, after this one, we'll definitely hold majority for the rest of the game without Hannah. So, as yeah. long as we're in the Wait, tribes. so they were going to vote Sam? 
long as Hannah remains secret as we told her to, then it should be good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So we're voting with Kristoff? Kristoff. Kristoff right. tomorrow. That'll be good if we get him out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, this is shady. This is shady shit. Like, I'm literally in an alliance with the entire team right now. And yeah, in terms of the, this decision, I literally asked my tarot cards about it. Like, I'm sorry that it came down to an astrology bitch with some cards to dictate your fate. Like, that just adds insult to injury. It really does. Especially for a Virgo. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just don't wanna be shady, but I might be shady. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Okay, so last night we were all at Ronan's house. Almost everyone in the game was there and it was a really cool opportunity to talk a lot of game. Like part of it where if there's someone made like a ball in a cup then you get to eliminate anybody. And Tommy made it and eliminated me like immediately. So I didn't play. So it was like Bella, um, me and Dre. Bella, Chris and Dre playing and Dre won and Dylan T won from the other team. So they're immune. Since Paige didn't use an item. Didn't seem like she had it. He was the first one to use you, you yeah, said exactly. You said that Dylan told Yeah, and so Dylan, like, at one point was like, yeah, I have it. And I was like, yo, no way. So then, like, later that night, I was at his house, and I was like, yo, do you want to show me it real quick? And he's like, I was bluffing. I didn't actually have it. So it's That's sketchy, bro. It's That's sketchy, bro. Hard. It's sketchy. He's just sus, bro. He, he like for sure thinks we're going at Bella. Yeah. Just make it seem like. Just make it seem okay. like we're going. Talking about. Oh, I haven't talked to game anyone tonight besides yeah. like you guys. Yeah. Just honestly, yeah. like, yeah. just don't try and like spill it because if he uses the idol, we're fucked. So just. No, like, for sure. Just... Um, I talked a little bit with Reed, and I just wanted to know like what was going on in the other tribe because I really don't, and I know that the merge is definitely coming soon. My plan is sort of seeing what cracks there are on the other team. Reed told me that there's a majority alliance that he's in. I, here's the thing, I have intel that like, on the other tribe, there's like a five person alliance. <laughs> really? I know who the merge is. Um, what's the name of the captain? Kristoff? No way. No way. No way. That's yeah. actually big. Cause, no, dude, that's, yeah. actually that's actually perfect. That's actually perfect because because Rachel and Kristoff are like, they're dating, they're right? They're final two. Yeah. So if they vote out Kristoff, she's going to be pissed at them. So we need to grab Rachel. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yo, that's easy. Okay. But I can't tell her they're voting. No, no, no. I can don't talk to her. Talk to her. I won't. Don't, I won't. don't talk to her right yeah. now. Yeah. Don't talk to her right now. Tomorrow, talk to her after. He told me that he wasn't like, he was like, he was really struggling if he should come here or not. And yeah. Like, Dude, that's actually huge. Okay, we can't tell anybody. If you couldn't hear the audio from last night's video, um, apparently Reed had spoiled to Rebecca that they are trying to get out Kristoff, which is honestly probably bad on their part and great for our part. If we merge soon, it's probably gonna look like six from Talladega and five from Leilani, which means that they would have the numbers and they'd pick us all off. But with them getting Kristoff out, they are gonna piss off Rachel, which then we can easily just kind of snag Rachel and we'll have the majority. The plan for our tribal council is still to get Dylan out. Um, he's been sus, he's been sneaky. Chris, Rebecca, Dre and I are just not having him anymore. Dude, that that's why. Loki, I was thinking about getting Reed on our side, but if he said that, maybe. Maybe he already is. Maybe, I'll work on it. Maybe, I'll work on well, the thing is, the if thing he is, tells like, us, then maybe. Either. Yeah, the thing is, Dude. if he tells us that, then why should we trust him? If he, like, why would we want a person that's telling our secrets on the other side, you know? That was kind of snaky on his part, you know? That's true. You know? I have no reason why Reed told Rebecca any information. There should be no reason why. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna choose the pecking order and yeah. just like just knock do them it. off just knock them. until it's like final five. Yeah. Then we're gonna like figure it then, out. Then it's like, yeah, but I mean, we have weeks to decide that. Dude, let's fucking go. Let's go. All right, pinkies. Pinkies in. All right, we got guys, we got the camera has the pinkies. The camera's got the pinkies. <laughs> we got this. All right, this is great. Final, a good recording. Final five. Okay, what's the squad final name? Five. What's the squad name? <gasps> squad name. Oh, don't put me on the spot with this. The this three. Is, Ooh, the, oh. the super Leilani Lana. <laughs> Leilani 2. <laughs> Leilani 2. Leilani <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> are. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they were late. <laughs> huh?
Okay, since Brandon didn't get here, do you think he's really smart in the game that he might be a threat in the end game? He is. He's very smart. I mean, comments to him, but too smart, bro. He is very smart. Just, it's just like, like for the challenges like and shit. The end game, we don't know what he could do. You smart, know? like in like social <laughs> smart or like what? Both smart. Game oh, smart, social yeah. smart, smart, like plans smart. everything is eh, like ahead. You, yeah. you gotta vote those people off. He'll cut any of us off. I was um, to win the fucking game. He's a good immediate friend but definitely immediate but within, not the, game, within right? the next three weeks like like probably three yeah three weeks like max you know is he a greater asset than he is an enemy when everything breaks up because at the end of the day it's a you know one person wins so and you guys you guys find him as like a threat oh, no nope, he is a threat but do you think he's gonna be flaky I don't, think, I don't. I don't think. I think it would be obvious he's once be he's flaky. If it's us four in the finals, I think we're a good final. In the finals, when oh, yeah. it's us four against each other, you have to think about it like that. Right. Like us four without Brandon, you know. Because no, I agree. Brandon's definitely gonna have to be an opponent. I don't see Brandon's him. Gonna be with us when we're kind of four, five. Maybe. Maybe. So, as you guys know, last week was an individual immunity challenge against your own tribe. Dre, you came out on top, therefore you are safe tonight. Brandon, I gotta ask you, how does it feel playing pretty much the third time in a row? Not, I mean, not playing your third challenge in a row. How does that feel? I just wanna play. Yeah? But, I mean, I guess. Do you feel like your survivor experience is kind of being like taken away a little bit? Not really. I mean, I'm kind of glad I didn't do that one that I couldn't, because there was a lot of running involved. I don't know. I don't wanna explain it, but. It was a hard challenge, so I guess I haven't missed too much. All right, Dylan, uh, Rebecca, I'm gonna turn to you guys. You guys didn't get to play in the last challenge. Is that a little worrisome coming today's uh, tribal council, or do you feel pretty safe? Yeah, I definitely was worried. You know, I was gone for a week, and uh, you know, definitely with someone getting an individual immunity, it definitely like scared me because I wish I had that opportunity. But I still feel like I'm pretty safe today, and I feel like I have like put my foot good in the ground for this tribe, and I, you know, I just feel good. So. Rebecca, I'll turn to you. Yeah, I mean, it sort of scared me to learn that both teams were going to travel tonight. Um, but as far as the individual immunity challenge, I probably wouldn't have won if I was there. So I don't feel too bad about missing it. All right, guys, so this is how it's going to work. One by one, you guys will be going to the voting booth. You will be casting your vote on who you want to vote out of this game. Brandon, we'll start with you. All right, I'll go get the votes. All right, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Oh, all right, I'll read the votes. First vote, Rebecca. Second vote, Dylan. Bella, we're tied. One vote Bella, one vote Dylan, one vote Rebecca, three votes left. Dylan, two votes Dylan. Fourth person vote out of Survivor San Diego, one district. Dylan, sorry, you need to bring me a torch. Dylan, sorry, tribe spoken. Time for you to go.
I hope you guys are making the right moves to advance your game in the long run. That's all I got for you guys. Head on out. I saw that uh, Chris and a few others went off to talk, and I kind of found it funny that they didn't include me. Um, so I kind of had some sort of suspicion, um, but it did throw me off guard because I thought we were really solid with uh, our vote on Bella this week. But I think my over anxiousness and me being too nervous uh, brought up the fact of like maybe me being kind of questionable in uh, these tribal councils and I might be kind of bipolar with my decision. So I think next time maybe I'll just be more structured with my game plan and that way I can get a more clean game. <laughs> All right, Talladega, you guys came into the season lo losing the first challenge. However, you guys really bounced back. You won the next two challenges. But of course, with the twist, both tribes are going to Tribal Council. Dylan, congratulations with winning the first individual immunity. You are safe today, so you don't have to worry about being voted out. For the rest of you guys, I cannot say the same. Obviously, Kristoff's not here today. He had a family dinner. I understand you guys have your commitment sometimes, but I need you guys to be here. All right, let's turn to Tommy really quick. Tommy, why do you have marker all over you? <laughs> My body is a canvas. I need to be painted on. Okay. Hannah, I want to turn to you. You know, I feel like a lot of people in this tribe kind of came into the game knowing each other, but I can say you probably haven't known that many people until the start of the game. Do you feel like you're getting to know people really well? Do you feel like you're actually making genuine friendships in this game? Or is this just strictly game and you're just here to... Oh no, I secretly hate everybody and I'm like plotting everyone's deaths and how to do it. That's why I ask them their signs so that I can know all their weaknesses and like murder them in their sleeves. I love it. No, I'm enjoying it though. <laughs> Uh, Rachel, it's no lie that you and Kristoff are actually in a relationship outside of this game. Um, I mean, everybody knows that it's just not a shock. Do you think that comes with a lot of pressure in the game? Do you feel like you guys always have to watch your back or what's going on in your mind? Uh, I kind of like to uh, view myself as an independent and him as independent too. Not as like a team, because I don't want to be a team. Um, yeah, not, so not too much pressure. All right, and with that, we'll get to the vote. One by one, you guys will go to the voting booth and cast your vote for who you want out of this game. Dylan, you're up first. See how this goes. All right, well, Kristoff made it. He got some time for his vote. So now I'm gonna go get the vote. Okay, guys? If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, All right. I'll read the votes. Person with the most votes will have to leave Travel Council area immediately. First vote, Sam. Second vote, Kristoff. That's not how you spell my name. <laughs> Wait, how did they spell it? They forgot the H. Third vote. Kristoff. Two votes Kristoff. One vote Sam. Four votes Sam. Kristoff. It's three votes Kristoff. One vote Sam. Sam. Sam, we're tied. Three votes, Sam. 
Three votes Kristoff, one vote Mark. Fifth person vote out of Survivor San Diego, one district. Kristoff. Sorry, you bring me a torch. Kristoff, Travis Bogan. It's time for you to go. Bye, guys. Next week on Survivor San Diego, Talladega reacts to Hannah's big move. So that all went pretty much according to plan. It was iconic. I made a big move. Hannah, it's not cool. So now going forward, I also did that knowing that it was going to put a target on my back. So that is a shitty move. Hannah, I'm looking at you. Dude, Kristoff literally left like a family dinner to come and get voted off. Fuck. The survivors brace for another tough challenge ahead. Ronan said that it's very, it's gonna be the most athletic challenge yet. There's no way it can be worse than the running challenge that we already did though. Let's keep on running, tossing. And after 17 days, Chris finally has a diary session. I'm honestly just confused about the whole thing. Life's getting a little chaotic right now for me, so it was better for me just to get voted off. I mean, if I actually had time and like could put my full energy into this, I would. I mean, I was actually really into the game. Life's just not w vibing with it right now. I just don't have time or the energy to do this game right now, so I'm perfectly fine with getting voted off because we had the votes to win tonight. So obviously someone switched sides. That person's gonna come out but uh, as this competition keeps going, but I mean, it's fine, uh, you know, I mean, right now, it's just probably gonna be Rachel's voted off next. Limo? Yeah, oh, Hover bro. Limo? I wasn't just... even thinking that far, we got okay. A hot air balloon ride? Holy shit, well, how much does that cost? I don't know, but don't we know. got a thousand dollars We might go over budget. <laughs> yeah, whatever, we got a thousand dollars.